Good morning, my name is Sam Solomon and today we are going to learn how to put together a very very simple and easy vector tree like the one that you see here in the Crisis Center of East Alabama logo that I've designed. Alright, so let's get started. So we're going to build it in Adobe Illustrator and this is just a 500 pixel by 500 pixel spread. The cool thing about Illustrator is all of the vector images are entirely scalable so if this is just going to be a, a very tiny piece on a website or if this is going to be blown up into a very large print um, you won't have any pixelation or anything like that. Alright so we're going to start by selecting our rectangle tool and we've got a brown this is going to be the base this is basically going to be our trunk of our tree and this will be kind of, I guess kind of an oak tree because it's going to be short and very bushy and there's a few different ways to to get rid of the edges here but for simplicity we're just going to take an eraser and make it pretty pretty big and we're just gonna clip the top right corners like so and so right now we've got we've got the base of our tree but now we have to to actually make the leaves so what we're gonna do is draw a little circle and hold shift decent size we've got about a hundred pixels of circle there and we'll give it kind of a dark dark green for the time being that looks pretty good what we're gonna do to make kind of the bushy part of our tree just control C copy and paste oh, and paste and we're gonna kind of this this trick also works really really well when you're trying to put together vector clouds but we're just gonna kinda spread these these circles out kind of make a bushy like structure. There we go. That could be a tree or a cloud. But let's cover up that spot. Alright, now that you've got this cluster of circles, what we're going to do is go to Pathfinder. If you don't have that, you can go to the window section and pull down Pathfinder. And What we're going to do is select or A first. We're going to group all of these together so anytime you click on it you get the whole group of them instead of just one of these circles but we're going to select this group and we're going to combine these compound shape so now that instead of a million different circles that has all become one individual shape so we'll go ahead and plot this on our on our there we go now one of the things we can do here I mean if you want to be done that's it. You've got you've got a good enough tree that that most people will accept that. But if you want to do a few other things that'll that'll really bring it out, what we'll do is copy and paste it. And we're just going to make this one just a little bit let's say a little bit up and a little bit to the left of the normal tree. Now we're going to select this and we're going to go to gradients. And I have got one kind of pre-selected, but we're going to do something like that. On the left side, we'll do a. That's too dark. We'll do a, a darker color. Let's see, maybe we can go one lighter. I like that. I like that. That'll work. And so you've got this kind of gradient from left to right. Now we can also, if you want to take it a step further, we can do something similar with the trunk. Now that looks just now, if you all, this also works for broccoli. Um, if you would like to create a vector broccoli, that is a perfect way to do it. But we'll start with a kind of a darker color down there. Then we'll do it. Then we'll do a lighter color down here. and now you've got these great gradients and basically you've got your tree 
Now you can save it and everyone can be proud of you.